a pretty tough night offensively for you guys. Uh, what made their block so effective? Uh, well, I was going to say that, one, they're big. Yeah, they're really yeah. big block. Then they also um, uh, seem to time blocks well so that they were always coming on the way down off their hands. So it was difficult to play um, on the coverage. Um, I think it was just that trajectory that was coming straight down. And 24 is a good player. You know, she she touched really high, and, and um, I think she's improved. We saw them the very, very first weekend at Midwestern State. They were playing on the court next to us, and she's definitely improved from then to the time that we played them over in Pueblo and then this time. Sierra, what makes that – what about just having that block on the other side makes it trickier to kind of decide who to set or what kind of a set to play? Well, it's hard because you have to try to see where she's going. And when she's just so fast, she's always there. And so I think Heather and I talked about just move the ball, just move the ball. So she has to move. So she has to, she has mm -hmm. to be guessing all the time and maybe try to wear her out a little. So just moving it back and forth. Was it hard to, you know, jump out to that lead in the third set and think, okay, maybe we can take this at least to a fourth one and then have them claw back the way they did? Yeah, that's hard, uh, especially was... when we have the fight to to want to win, and they they have it just as much as we do. So it's I mean, it's it hard to play hard. against that. Yeah. Well, and I think it comes down to um, in the middle of that game just having a a few errors in a row that were just at key times where we couldn't keep that lead and we were trying to keep that lead you know trying to because we haven't done a very good job of that this season is trying to keep the lead all the time and that was one of the things we talked about during the break was trying to find a way to get the lead and then to keep the lead and um, until we got to I want to say it was 13 uh, we had mm -hmm. kept that lead you know we had had two or three point cushion the whole time and then we one little s spurt of of errors in a row um, that they overtook the lead. And even even when they did overtake the lead, we continued to battle back. And um, I really believed that we were going to be able to pull that out. You know, uh, the one thing I see, we just had way too many hitting errors. Some of that was based on their block, mm -hmm. but some of it was um, just, and I, and I felt like down at the very end, we were very, um, uh, we, we were timid. And we tipped a lot of balls, I guess, based on being blocked mm -hmm. in the beginning of the game. What do you think you guys need to improve in kind of those end of set situations where, you know, the, it really could go either way depending on who puts together a run? I think it's just the discipline of being, being where we need to be at all times. Like whether it's the block or um, the defense behind the block or the setters or the hitters, I think... We have the skill, it's just the discipline now of knowing right. where we need to be. And as far as you guys go, you know, how was that, the senior night ceremony to go through before the game? Obviously, there's still a lot of the season left, but, you know, it's that's always seems to be a, kind of a nice moment for you guys. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like it's finally <laughs> hit that we're, this is it. Like, you'll hit one more time when we play Adams. Well, and it's nice, but... too, that they have another game at home. Yeah, uh, it's, the only, for us. it's on a week. It's on a weeknight, so we chose a weekend. So they do have um, an opportunity to redeem yourselves, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The, to well, battle back. Nights, it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you seem to get get a couple different girls in there as far as the third set goes. Do you think that's helpful for this team to just kind of see what you have as far as depth goes? Well, Hannah definitely was a good matchup for 24 just because of her reach, her physical yeah. ability to be able to reach. And she blocked a couple of the balls and, and got in front of her and then was able to hit down in front of them. And I think um, that is one nice thing about the girls that we have on our team. Everybody's different but different in a good way, so that we have somebody who's faster, somebody who's taller, somebody who can reach higher, someone who could jump higher. And um, I think to leave them on the bench and not be able to utilize them um, in situations where other people weren't able to produce, we were trying to just create some sort of um, energy or um, we really needed to stop 16 and 12 on the outside. And that was mm -hmm. one of the reasons that I put Gabby Silva in there to try mm -hmm. and stop her on the, on the outside. So. Great. Thank you, guys.